This is a highlight of the best police chases in 2023. This video is for entertainment purposes only. On May 20th, 2023, 42-year-old Christopher Monroe, who had outstanding warrants for felony fleeing and a narcotics violation, was spotted in Little Rock, Arkansas. Monroe had previously been involved in multiple high-speed chases, and when the state police tried to intercept him, he took them on another high-speed chase. According to state police, he was doing 120 miles per hour during heavy weekend traffic. Miraculously, no one was injured. Christopher Monroe received a slew of charges including trafficking illegal substances with intent to deliver, felony fleeing, possession of a firearm, aggravated assault of law enforcement, and criminal mischief. On June 15, 2023, a call came in to 911 in Parma Heights, Ohio, with a report of a black SUV driving on and off the road. When police found the SUV and attempted to stop it, that's when the chase began. Black female driver, sunglasses, straight black hair. Going up on the grass. Powers jeweler. She's stopping. Negative, she's going through the grass again. Just went through the grass. Southbound on Pearl. Speed's about 35. Still southbound on Pearl, passing Rochelle. Somebody with 
Testing Mandalay, speed's 40. Still southbound passing Beresford, speed 40, traffic light. Went through a red light on Huffman. Still no problem and stuff. We're 130th. Through a lane. Speeds are about 50. Coming up to the plaza. Coming up the snow. Driving on the oncoming traffic. Over the, curb. the police attempted to bring the vehicle to a stop by placing stingers on the road. However, the driver spotted the stingers in the middle of the intersection, maneuvered onto a curb, and then made a left turn. Come again. Yes, we're coming out. Westbound on snow, light traffic, speed's 50. Smith Road. Taking a right on Smith. North on Smith, passing Remmore. Driving in the middle of the road, still west. Taking a right on Rocky River. Northbound on Rocky River. Turning on to Maplewood. Looks like Maplewood is dead end. Pulling into an unknown driveway.
taking her right, heading toward back Rocky River Road. Six six. Did she throw something out of the window? I saw her hand come out. Yeah, I'm just waving her arm. Taking her right on Rocky River. South. Southbound on Rocky River, passing Maplewood again. Speed's 40, traffic light. Driving up to the center lane, coming up to Brook Park. East on Brook Park. Speeds are about 60. Armin is setting up at 103 to the with sticks. Just passing the RTA station. Coming up to Henry Ford. In the in the turning lane. Coming up to West One Sixty Fourth. In a second attempt, the officers were able to puncture the back tires of the SUV, but what happened next was totally unexpected. Westbound Park. 6-6, there you go. It that she was intentionally trying to push into other cars. Yep. Okay, we're still westbound on Park Road. We're coming up to the bridge here. We're coming into Fairview. 
park if you can give them a call and let them know. Comes up to Graydon. And it looks like we're going to go past Graydon. Continuing the westbound. Speeds are 40 long. Oh, there's debris on the roadway. Curb lane, two tires. We're getting on 480 east. And it looks like speeds are about 15 right now. Might be coming to a stop here on the other end. The driver was able to keep going on to I-480 East before making a U-turn and driving the wrong way in the eastbound lanes. It was at that point that the officers knew they had to end the madness. The suspect was taken into custody unhurt, and thankfully there were no further injuries for anyone else that she hit. As for why she started the chase in the first place, the suspect claimed mental health issues and that she wanted suicide by cop. On October 4, 2023, Indian River County Sheriff's Office deputies were alerted that the suspect in a doctor's stabbing was last seen fleeing northbound on Interstate 95 at a high rate of speed. Deputies quickly spotted the fleeing white sedan and started to pursue it on the ground and by air. We're gonna need sticks probably on the vehicle. He's not gonna stop. He's in the left lane, over 120 miles an hour. Let us know when you go over the bridge. We're gonna have stop sticks ready on the other side, up in 995. Yeah, we'll try to keep you updated. We're trying to keep up with him. He's, he's going pretty fast. Plane, outside lane now, continue past the uh, bridge. No one was injured during the pursuit and arrest. The suspect, later identified as Nicholas David Parchesco, was booked into the Indian River County Jail, where he was charged with attempted murder and eluding law enforcement. This chase started as a result of a case of domestic violence. Here is the backstory. Crystal and Michael Bresnahan had been married for three years, but Crystal had decided the marriage was over 
due to physical abuse from her husband. On July 8, 2023, she decided to leave the home they shared, taking their three kids to a domestic abuse shelter. When Michael found out they had left, he tracked them down and stabbed Crystal 13 times in front of their kids. He then dropped off the kids at his brother's home, took his brother's AK-47, and then led police on a high-speed chase. This is how it went. Road. Southbound on Grady. Southbound on Grady now. Up That's going to be coming up to Laurel now yep. in just a second. Hey, uh, SO to uh, PD, uh, I'm just above you at uh, almost 1,500. Yeah, tower. Jeff, I'll stay out of below 1,000. We're uh, busy right now. Got more shit going. But I'll stay below 1,000. Runway one nine nine left, clear the land, wind one one zero. Copy. All right, coming to where Laurel meets the entrance ramp for two seventy five. He's gonna go the wrong way there to Dale Mabry. Line up and wait. 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 181, let me get him in front of us, please, Vehicle 1. November 247, Kilo Golf, contact departure. Uh, traffic is still light for Del Mabry. Uh, you still got, uh, you know, pretty heavy traffic at the intersections. Uh, roads are dry, and uh, he's still, he's driving fairly slow, probably 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour right now. All right, he's through Cypress, still southbound on Del Mabry. American 1478, runway 1270, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. See if we get stop six at, at American uh, 1478, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. Right, 19 right, clear for takeoff, American 1470. Right turn lane's the only one open. Right now, the right turn lane's the only lane open at Kennedy, and he's probably going to take it. Came in 201, Tampa Tower, runway 1 on the right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, line up and wait, and cut through traffic. Del Mabry and Kennedy, he's going to go eastbound now. Eastbound Kennedy from Del Mabry. Try to get sector F. The next one's going to be Himes. Yep. See if F can set up on the bridge. Also, let's see if we can get units on Armenian Howard. Yeah, he's not driving fast. Armenian Howard probably be good. He just passed Himes. He's in the left lane. He's still uh, American 1470 like contact departure. Have a good day. He's wanting. He's going northbound Glen from Kennedy. Northbound Glen from Kennedy. Came in 201, one one two zero seven, runway one nine right, clear for takeoff. Very take off, the right, streets, so very little traffic back here. Roads are fairly dry and uh, probably doing thirty miles an hour. Southwest right ninety seventeen, Tampa Tower, runway one nine right, line up and wait. One nine right, line up and wait. David forty one, David forty one, behind me. I think my emergency lights are shut off in my car. Northbound on Glen. Northbound on Glen from Gray. All right, got an officer. I think two blocks ahead. All right, the officer two blocks ahead. He's coming to you. Set up those spikes. In high cover. One block out. One block south of you. Pull the spikes. Right, he's coming up to the spikes now for the units behind this vehicle. And one five zero seven. He might have caught one edge of it. Uh, now he's going to be uh, eastbound on Cypress. Tried to drive around the spikes. Eastbound Cypress coming up to Lincoln now. Still continuing eastbound. Next major is going to be uh, McDill. Coming up to McDill shortly if we have anybody over near McDill. Came 
Contact Three McDill, still eastbound. Three McDill, still eastbound. Three McDill, still eastbound. Three McDill, still eastbound. Cayman 201, you have a good day. Contact departures here. Anybody down towards uh, Howard Armenia area for spikes. Top of Sun, 90, 17, 1 on the right, clear take off. Take off 1 on right, southwest 9017. That's our fucking 910, sir. Charlie's with you on the 19 left. Fucking 910, sir. Charlie, Tam, Trail 1 on left. Clear to land, wind 1605. Clear to land, 19 left for 910, sir, Charlie. Coming up to uh, Armenia, next one's going to be Howard if we have anybody in the area with spikes. Getting around cars through Armenia now, still eastbound Cypress. Spikes up. Uh, he's got a line of traffic. Yep. All right, he's going to be cutting around traffic at Howard and northbound Howard. Northbound Howard. Want to come around clear lane one nine left on the search. Roger nine ten search. Charlie, yes sir. One left. Clear lane. Interstate. Clear lane one nine left for nine one zero search. Charlie. You're going to be coming up to like LaSalle Arch in that area. Yeah, he's already past Arch. Okay. Yeah. South of Sunny Seventeen. Have a good LaSalle. day. Contact the parts. See you. Going to park. All right. Nine zero one seven. Going under the interstate. Right now, under 275 northbound on Howard. Through green, still northbound. Across Main Street, still northbound on Howard. We can have one, the one, let's get one more cars up here. Anybody northbound up towards, uh, like, towards MLK or Columbus? Towards MLK Columbus. or Columbus. Columbus is going to be going eastbound Columbus, eastbound Columbus from Howard. If you would advise uh, Sector E just in case it continues across. And if we can get somebody in Sector E to start setting up some spike strips on Columbus, that would be good. Coming up to Fremont. Approach on the bridge, one out. Coming up to Rome at the bridge. Crossing over the bridge, still probably 40 miles an hour. It looks pretty dry. Got a light rain, and uh, and traffic is. Welcome, 910, sir. Charlie, when you're able, turn left. Uh, contact ground point seven, see ya. Okay, when able, turn left and point uh, seven, sir. Charlie. Right, Columbus, and he's going to be coming up to Glenwood here in just a second. Coming up to Boulevard shortly if we got anybody over there. See anybody, anybody ahead. See, uh, see if I'm Nebraska in case you continue to use. Alright, we can't see anybody ahead. He cut around traffic. Still gonna be going uh, eastbound on Columbus. Your next major is gonna be Tampa. Um, Next major is going to be Tampa if we get anybody up that way. I'll see you officer soon. Yeah, go to Highway. Traffic. Go to Highway Traffic. Alright, going to be coming up to Highlands. Got He's red got ball. Some congestion in front of him. He's probably going to want to cut around. He's going to go northbound. Northbound on Highlands. Uh, he's going to be coming up to Euclid now. Northbound Highlands. 
did not hit the spikes. He's bound Euclid. He's bound Euclid. He's bound Euclid. Under flight down, 4374, ready, man, you right? Northbound through an alley now. Hey, second, please. Up front here, flight 2374. Alley, we're ready. Back out to Tampa, guys. He's going to come back out to Tampa. Flight four, Roger. Hold short. New departure instructions will be 180 right, to maintain 6,000. Frequency 119 or point six five. Gladys, Gladys, cut across Tampa. I'll be looking heading 180 up to 6,000, and we'll contact 119 or point six five. Under flight 2374. Hold short, 100 right. Sir, frequency is 119 Hold short. Signal 4, Florida and Gladys, Florida and Gladys. Come here, 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 come here. All right, the uh, other car is out of the way and ran. They're out of the out of the area. Suspect has not exited the vehicle yet. Shots fired, shots fired. We've got multiple shots fired. Traffic. The chase came to an end after Bresnahan crashed into another car on Florida Avenue. Immediately after the crash, Tampa police said shots were fired from Bresnahan's car. In response, 18 TPD officers who responded to the scene fired their weapons, according to officials. After the shootout, authorities said it appears the suspect died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. On the 28th of December, 2023, North Little Rock Police Department requested help from the Arkansas State Police to track down an alleged stolen vehicle. A successful pit maneuver brought the vehicle to a stop, and the suspect was taken into custody without any further incident. Oh, 
Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this.